welcome. Uh, can you tell us a bit about yourself and our court, Santiago? Hi, Gary. At first, thank you very much for your invitation. It's a pleasure for me to, to be here. Arcor is a leading multinational group made up of three business divisions, consumer food products, where we, we produce food, chocolates, cookies, confectionery, ice cream, and functional products. And the other LOBs are agribusiness and packaging. We have commercial offices in the Americas, Europe, Asia, reaching over 100 countries and more than 1 million sales points. We have 45 uh, industrial plants in Latin America, we are the Argentine's leading food company and paper producer, an important player in Latin America. And we are the first global manufacturer, manufacturer of hard candies. We are a leading company of cookies, biscuits, uh, and cereal in the region. We have more than 20,000 collaborators, of which 12K are IT users. Regarding myself, I've been working for Arcor for 10 years now. At first, focus on infrastructure and, and leading the migration of uh, Arcor on-prem workload to different stages of, of the cloud. First to a private cloud in Austin Data Center, uh, within Oracle Austin Data Center. Late, later, we moved to Gen 1, and last year, we've done the migration to Gen 2 of OCI. Since last year, I'm also responsible of the IT service organization, where we turn every business need into an IT initiative and trying to align the IT strategy to the business strategy. Okay. All right, Santiago, that's a, a great overview there. So I think you're the company that went fastest from a private cloud to Gen 1 to Gen 2. I think you did, and you have a very complex environment. So how has being on Gen 2 uh, Oracle Cloud Infrastructure helped you grow and operate its scale to become a global, uh, a global operator? Well, Arcor's globalization came along with acquisition and partnerships with our companies and standing out for our sustainable practices and our, and our ability to enter new businesses. So IT strategy towards this was to be flexible, uh, agile and global and allowing an efficient response on time and at, at the lowest possible cost to the requirements of the business. In Arcor, we understand that IT can improve bi uh, business per performance and increase enterprise differentiation and competitiveness. And to face it, these challenges, we put a, in place a transformation program that included business processes and applications based on a cloud service. And in summary, we, we looked to, uh, after simplifying our operations and focusing our resources in core, in core activities. OCI then provided us more and better services along with economic benefits for the company. It gave us from the uh, infrastructure perspective, the flexibility and agility uh, we were looking for in order to support uh, in time what our business demand. I, I, I know when we met before, you were very anxious to get on Gen 2 OCI. So what improvements have you experienced uh, since you are on OCI? Well, uh, besides the agility and flexibility, we, we, we improved the stability and the perf performance of, of, of our instances. We increased the reliability of the applications to transfer that confidence to the business. Of course, we decreased our TCO and, and converted fixed costs into variables, and we, we are not able, able to replicate our business models to new businesses. Uh, it's important also to remark that the migration uh, to OCA was a smooth project, uh, and, and no one should be afraid of giving this first step. Um, this took us about uh, nine months to migrate around uh, 200 VMs, 12, 12 apps, 60 60 terabytes of data, 1,700 of integration processes, and we have come a lot with a lot of support on your side. And since day one of the go live operations were running smooth and normally. You you have a very large application footprint, Santiago. Uh, what are, what are the benefits you are seeing having Oracle services you know manage those applications for you on OCI? Okay, so in the past, in order to, to be flexible and agile, we understand that we need to simplify the operation. 
And we, we have done a big effort in standardize uh, our, our operation model for all the group. In that time, several uh, Oracle application appear in our uh, horizon, you know? So uh, we understand that uh, ACS was the natural solution for, for the appearance of this new footprint, allowing us not to have a big growth on, in, in our structure. We need the right people to, to, to manage our uh, Oracle environment, and we understand that no one better than Oracle to do so. And furthermore, uh, having someone to manage the complete stack from the infra to the application, uh, of course, prior to the appearances of some such models, was not a normal offering when we decided to move to, to the cloud uh, along with uh, ACS Managed Service. And also, this helped us to relocate uh, our resources to more strategic tasks, uh, contributing with their knowledge of the business. Thank you for uh, explaining that, Santiago. So, you know, we've partnered very closely over, you know, several years with you and your cloud mm -hmm. transformation strategy. What's next for Arcor on Oracle Cloud? Well, when we started this journey, uh, along with uh, Oracle as, as partner, we, we, we both devised three, a uh, three-stage plan in order to keep uh, taking advantage of, on the cloud offerings. We first move our work, uh, workload uh, as if to ES instances. Then we start adding, uh, adding some pass offerings and, and uh, a little of the SaaS offering. Mm -hmm. And now we plan to advance further in that sense, seeking new SaaS offerings to mitigate some on-prem applications, such as PeopleSoft to HCM or the Mantra to Planning Central. Uh, and again, uh, we, we are also planning to applying some EAI services or machine learning for our, our forecasting and planning, and also following the, the digital transformation of our company, we are developing new digital commerce channels, and from an infrastructure perspective, we are implementing a Kubernetes cluster based on OKE services, and we are start to developing some cloud-based applications. Santiago, thank you for the detailed ex explanation. I think you're a, a perfect uh, example of move, improve, innovate. You know, I think you, you're following that kind of phased approach, which is, uh, makes a lot of sense. Um, we hope th uh, this information will be helpful to your peers attending the summit. Um, also, I want to thank Arcor for finding innovative ways for feeding all of us. As you know, I'm a big fan of your chocolate, so I look forward to meeting you in person soon. So uh, thank you, Santiago. Thank you, Gary. Anytime.